Hello YTPC, 4-Eyed Piper here, doing a video that I've been thinking about doing for a few weeks now. I've already done my seller video and I thought I should probably do my pipe collection as well. Uh, so what I'm going to do is spread out my pipes, show you uh, what I have, why I picked them up, tell you a little bit about them, and uh, with a little bit of movie magic I'm going to show you my pipe cabinet right now. Here is the gun cabinet that I keep in my bedroom. It has a few uh, odds and ends in there. And a pipe hat that I got from Mel. It's not really a pipe hat, but it's a hat that I associate with piping. This is what I really wanted to show you. And that is my pipe cabinet. I found that on Let Go for $50. And it has an etching, if you can see it, of Sherlock Holmes smoking a pipe. Inside I keep a lot of the pipes that I have drying out from use. This is kind of a good place to contain some of that smell from uh, smoky pipes. Got some aging full Virginia Flake up there on top in my reamer. Okay. Over here above my window, I have a little set of a uh, few odds and ends, including this really cool knife that my wife had made for me for Christmas about two years ago. It's made out of bone, it's a salmon or a trout, and then this little knife here, it's pretty cool, comes on a little antler holder right there with my name on it. That is uh, one of the first pipes I ever owned. I bought it at a Renaissance fair, believe it or not. It's pretty cool. A little church warden kind of guy. I'll show you guys that in a little bit. Okay. That Devil's Holiday came from Game Gamecock Piper. And then you can see I got my Balkan Blue up there on top of the Dragon Goblet that I have no reason to have except that I'm a nerd. There we go. There's some Seattle Pipe Club tins unopened. All these are unopened tins. And then if you come across here, on top of the other window, you're going to see a bunch of cool stuff, including some pewter tankards and a couple of nice growlers. This one from the Adirondacks. Pretty cool one. And then a bunch of tins up there, mostly Dunhills, but a, a few other varieties that I have aging. And then there's my drinking horn from my wedding. I actually got drinking horns for me and for a couple of the other members of my wedding party. And then on top of my dresser here is, uh, there's a few other things there, including a picture of my son from a while back. But uh, I wanted to show you kind of my setup because with the use of movie magic, I'm going to show you all of my pipes. You got to do a little tour of the four-eyed boudoir. Um, and now I've actually put the pipes out here. So I'm going to show you what I've got, um, kind of go through them in the order that I acquired them and talk a little bit about why I got the pipes that I did. And I hope you enjoy the Meerschaum collection as well gonna be a little bit of shaky cam here but uh, this is the first pipe I ever bought it's a Missouri Meerschaum very small one in fact I'm not very good at identifying the Missouri Meerschaum types there's a few that I do know this one I don't know what it's called maybe it's the legend or something like I don't know what that is but anyway uh, this is the first one I ever got it's a really small bowl um, I smoked a little bit of Captain Black in that the second pipe I ever bought, I actually purchased at the Renaissance Fair in Sterling, New York, and it was this pipe. And uh, my wife actually purchased it for me. I wanted a pipe really badly. It's some sort of hardwood. I don't know what it is exactly, um, but it's really pretty. It just smokes like crap. So it's super, super open draw. I don't like it. I burned the crap out of the rim just trying first, uh, you know, smoking some Captain Black or I think it was like Smoker's Choice that I tried first. Came with this pipe stand, which doesn't really fit it, but it's kind of cool. I just leave it on the shelf. I don't really smoke it anymore. Next up, I uh, purchased a couple of Dr. Grabos. 
and this is the first one I ever purchased. You can tell because it's got this uh, weird, I don't know, score mark on it or something. Um, but I like this pipe. In fact, I use these pipes as taster pipes a lot of times. Um, they're both the same. They're pretty cheap, but uh, not bad. They smoke super hot, uh, so I don't really smoke them too often. But if there's something that I want to try that, uh, you know, I want to burn a cob out on or something like that, I'll put, throw it into my grab out. Then uh, I actually got really interested in uh, creating some pipes. So this is the first pipe that I ever carved. It's pretty rough. Um, it's a pearwood pipe. I bought this stem for it. The stem actually fits pretty nicely on it, but I probably could work this some more, but now I've smoked it. I actually really like the way it feels. Um, it's pretty rough, but um, functional, and uh, I use it for English blends. So it was a, it was a good first attempt, I guess. Um, definitely refined my skills a little bit. This is the second one that I ended up carving out of pear wood, which came out a little bit better. But it's all hand tooled, so uh, probably could have used a little bit more work. I still like it, it's kind of an interesting shape. I've showed you guys that before. Then I bought, uh, I got this pear wood stump pipe on eBay for nothing, I think eight bucks. Pretty cool, it's pretty uh, nicely done. I really like smoking. It's a deep bowl, but it's really a thin, thin bowl. I can hardly put my finger into it. Um, I use that for kind of sweet stuff. And you guys are seeing my messy, messy living room right now with kids' toys all over the place. Then I started upgrading, and these are probably the best pipes I ever purchased. My two uh, country gentlemen's. I really love these pipes. I smoke them all the time. I have separated them with an, one with a regular amber bit. This one I threw a Danish bit on, which I like better. I'm probably going to put a Danish bit on this one. I don't know if they make an amber Danish bit, but uh, I have to look into that and try to check that out. Then, of course, I've got a bunch of cobs. These guys, maybe these are the legends, or I don't know what they are exactly. Just nice bowls for uh, smoking and kicking around in the woods with or whatever. I like the feel of the plaster on these, it's nice. Then I bought myself a seven day set, which these are five pipes that came out of that seven day set. Sorry, shaky cam. Uh, some that I already had, um, some that I didn't. This one I didn't have before, I like that. I don't know what it's called, not smoked it yet. This guy is a rough version of that same pipe, or a naked, naked version. I think is what they call it, all with amber stems. And then of course I got me a MacArthur and I need a longer stem for it. So that's pretty cool. It was just neat to get. I'm not sure why they called this a second, but you can tell they mark it on the bottom as a second. And then I started upgrading even more. Uh, the next one I got was the Dagner Poker Cob. I've smoked that a couple of times. This is just dedicated to Blood Red Moon in uh, true fashion of the Dagners. And then I've got a couple of pretty nice pipes. This is my Savinelli Oscar Tiger. I love this pipe. Beautiful, I love the stem on it. I got this on eBay for a really, really good price, $50. This guy is my Edwards pipe. I've smoked it a couple times. It's a oil cured aged briar. This is probably the nicest pipe that I own right now. Uh, I've smoked it a few times, and I smoke only Northwoods in this. Um, love this. Love the stem on it. Just reminds me of fall. Uh, love the idea of dedicating pipes to seasons. I don't know why, but it just feels so nice. Nice, nice pipe. I got this super cheap on eBay. You wouldn't even believe uh, the price I got on it. This is a pretty cheap pipe. I got it for $12 on eBay. Um, it is a Calabrese Metamorphose, is what it's called. I don't know if that's cool or not. I'm not even sure if it's real briar. Um, it's pretty light. Yeah, it's probably real briar, but. Um, this smokes wonderfully, and this is what I smoke all of my Virginias out of. In vapors, actually. 
I got this Dr. Grabba Royalton um, a little while back. Cheap, super cheap. And then this is, I've never smoked this pipe. This is very similar to the Kamoi pipe that I just sent out to Peddler Piper for winning my giveaway. But this one is, I don't know if you can see that. Come on. There we go. Kamoi Christmas 1986. That's my birth year pipe. I really wanted a pipe that was as old as I am. I haven't smoked it yet. I threw a bit on it just for the hell of it, but um, I should smoke that sometime. Give it a shot. And then this is my Cobbit pipe, which I've modified with a Danish stem. I love this one too. This one's really nice in the hand. This is my Morgan's Morgan Bones pipe. It's the Ergo or Ergo Apple. I love this one. I love the saddle bit on that. The acrylic saddle bit is awesome. It just sits so nicely. Uh, really like that. Hangs very nicely. Then I ordered my first pipe to be made. I showed you guys this in another video. This was made by Olivewood Piper. Love this. I have not smoked it yet. I have not brought myself to smoke it. Um, just so paranoid about it. Um, but it'll be one that I smoke something really nice out of. Maybe I'll do my first Penzance out of there or something. And then a matching tamper. Absolutely gorgeous. And then I showed you guys this the other night. This is my Lumberjack pipe by Mr. Brog. Uh, it's got little piping characters on there. It's just a novelty, really. My wife got this for me for my anniversary. I love it. I think it's freaking cool. And it's huge. It'll take me like six hours to smoke this bowl. I'm not even touching the bottom of the bowl right now. Um, this is probably going to be a live pipe. So let me take a break and uh, get some things put together so that you guys can see my Meerschaum collection as well. Okay, here we go. been talking about this Meerschaum collection that I have. It's it's not a huge collection, but it is really cool. Uh, it's got a cool story behind it. So I was on eBay. It was probably my, I don't know, third or fourth week of piping. And I was looking up, you know, a ton of videos about pipe smoking at that time and learned a little bit about Meerschaum pipes and decided I need to have one. So I was on eBay. I found this uh, for a buy it now for $50 and a lady was selling her husband's pipe collection off. This is the last of it. Uh, she told me through messaging that he was stationed in Turkey in 1968 during the war and he picked this up in um, a shop there in Turkey and brought it home and it had been sitting ever since. He smoked a couple of the pipes, but not all of them. Um, so let's just take a look. This, this box is awesome. I would pay 50 bucks for this box. Um, but this is what came in the box. So, um, actually I've added this pipe right here. This one is in two pieces. It is a porcelain pipe that belonged to my great grandfather. Uh, obviously was used. Um, my family comes from Pennsylvania and you can see it just falls apart. There's no holding it together. This is the stem is actually made out of um, paper, which is really interesting. Um, and this is a piece of plastic. Um, I'll definitely have to do some more research on this pipe. It's all here. It just doesn't stay together. It used to be held together with a piece of string. But anyway, with the Meerschaum set, I got five pipes. Um, one that has been smoked very, very heavily. I think is really cool looking. Stem is just chewed up. Um, but the colors on this is awesome. Um, this one has been smoked a bit. And I love the shape of this. It's really cool. I thought about maybe smoking this one. The stem is probably repairable. I don't know. I don't know much about repairing stems or or even cleaning up Meerschaum. So if you guys know anything more than I do, which is uh, zero, please let me know. Um, and then I got three unsmoked pipes. At this point, I decided to smoke one. This is the one that you guys see me smoking on Meerschaum Monday. I love this pipe. It's huge. Um, probably worth too much to actually smoke it, in my opinion, but who cares? I'm, I'm going to enjoy this pipe that I purchased. 
This is an unsmoked pipe. Look at this. Look at the carving on this. Can you believe that? These stems, they look amber, but they are actually acrylic. And then this one is the pipe that I've been reserving for my wife to smoke if she ever wanted to. Um, very, very cool looking. Completely clean, beautiful, beautiful pipes. So I'm gonna keep the other two here unsmoked, um, but I am gonna smoke this guy and color it up. I think uh, I deserve it. And for $50 for f all five of these pipes, in this case, it's incredible. You can see here, um, there's a little um, note that was in here on obviously aged paper, and it talks about owning a Meerschaum, um, the history of it, and how to break it in, and all this stuff. It's very cool. Um, and it is from, I don't know where that is exactly, but it's a place in Turkey, I assume. So very cool. It's like a gift shop or something that he bought it at. The other thing that I didn't show you guys was it also came with these cigar stems. This one has been smoked. Um, these are made, also made out of meerschaum, carved meerschaum. I think it, there it goes. Very cool carving on them, acrylic stem. This one's been smoked, but it came with two other ones that have not been smoked. They're just a little colored with age. So that's cool too. Um, I may think about giving one of these away at some point. I don't know. But I really wanted to show you this. This kind of tops up my pipe collection. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. So um, if you guys have any input or any suggestions about cleaning up pipes or... Um, pipe ownership or anything like that, please leave it in the comments. I'd love to know more. I'm constantly researching, but I don't have a lot of time to do a lot of research. I'm trying to keep up on it in everyone's videos, but this has been a very long video. I hope you enjoyed my pipe collection. I, I hope uh, it gives you a little glimpse into the inner workings of the Four-Eyed Piper household a little bit with the crazy kid messes and the pipes strewn about all through the bedroom. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> anyway, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.